Hey guys, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel at Flippin' Hippos. Today we're going to take a look at the promotions offers on eBay if you have a store and how to set up sales in your store. Today we're just going to cover the sales, not the promoted listings, which are two different things. A sale is a way to set up a discount on volume, buy two, get one, or 25% off through your store. And we're going to go through all of that in just a second. Promoted listings is when you pay the extra percentage to eBay to have your listing promoted to show up higher in search engines. I will be back on Friday to show you guys how to set up your promoted listings and talk a little bit more about that. But today we're just talking about setting up the sales. So you want to go to your seller hub up at the top here where it says marketing. You hover over that and you want to go down to promotions, not promoted listings. That's the other thing I just mentioned. We want to go to promotions. When you click that, it'll open up a window that looks like this. And if you scroll all the way down and you have current sales going or some that had ended, you'll see them all in a, a big list here. I usually go through once a week on Friday mornings and set up all of our sales for the coming week. Some of our sales will run up to 45 days. That is the maximum amount you're allowed to run a sale is 45 days. So things where we have um, ties, buy two, get one free. We have, uh, there it is, buy one, get one free. That's our ties. We have an extra 20% off of $25 or more. Sales like that, I will typically run for 45 days just so I can kind of set it and forget it. But our 25% off sales that we run every weekend and our 20% sales that run through the week, I don't set those for very long, two to three days at the most. And here's why. You want to create a sense of urgency with your buyers. So if you have 25% off for your weekend sale, you want them to be able to see that they only have a limited time to take advantage of that sale. You guys know that your listings that are on sale will have a little red area that tells the, the buyer how long that sale is going for. If it's in red and it ticks down. Let's see if I can show you one. We have, this is active. You guys can always go to your sales here on this Dropbox and preview them. I'm gonna open mine in a new tab. You preview it and it shows you what your sale looks like to your buyers. So this is some of the items on sale. So let's just look at these J. Crew jeans. Um, when they're clicking on the actual item like this, you see the sale ends here. So that creates that sense of urgency. Your buyer's never gonna look at it like this off of the preview. Your buyer's looking at your listings like this. So when they come here and they see these J. Crew jeans have 20% off, they actually see how much they're saving, what the price was, and right here, ticking down in red, is how long they have to take advantage of that sale. And creating that sense of urgency is really super important. You want people to feel like they need to buy it now. You want to create that feeling of an impulse buy in your buyers. And that's why I recommend, if you're gonna run the markdown sales like that, a certain percentage off, two, three days at the max, just so that you always have that counter there and you're creating that sense of urgency. As far as buying two ties and getting one free or spending more and saving more, I don't necessarily think it's important to create such a sense of urgency on those, but you certainly can. You can set those up for every two or three days as well. But those are just sales that I don't really feel and need as much urgency. So I set them up for the max amount so I could set them and forget them. And the 25% we run from Friday evening to Sunday evening. And then Monday to Wednesday, we have a 20% off. And Wednesday to Friday, we have a 20% off. We make sure that all of our sales end in the evening, probably around, give or take a little bit, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, especially on Fridays. Friday is payday, most of the world has money in their pocket, most of the world is shopping and has money to burn. And by ending them at 9 p.m., it's like 6 p.m. Pacific time. So it's like a good time in the evening when people are off work, they're relaxing, maybe they're sitting on the couch and going through maybe on their phone, maybe they're out to eat looking at their phone. Um, there's just a lot of uh, thought behind ending the sales in the evening. I just feel like more people are on in the evening and then of course say like it's a Friday and it's a payday and someone just got home from work, they sit down on the couch to relax before they start cooking or before they order dinner. 
and they see that the jeans they want that they've been looking at are 20% off, but it ends in an hour. They just got paid. They're more likely to buy it. So that is why I end them in the evening. That's just what I do. It's what I would recommend if you ask me for my advice. But again, you guys are free to run your stores however you want. And you guys have so many options with these sales. So let's just kind of go through some of them. So when you're on this page, this is your sales at the bottom. You want to come up the top and right here, this blue button, create a promotion, click it once and you'll get a drop down menu. I'm going to go through each of these options with you real quick and just show you what they do and how to set them up. So let's say you want to do an order discount. Well, that's going to bring you to this page. Create an order discount is really easy. You pick a category. You can do store wide and make everything in your store on sale or just a specific category within. And then you choose your objective here. Or if you already know what you want to do, this area can actually be skipped. This is just them asking you a couple of questions to help you decide what kind of sale you want. So you can do, I love these. These are the ones I set up for the 45 days. So you can tell them that they spend an extra amount of money and get a certain amount of money off, which is right here under spend. Quantity is giving them an extra amount, dollar amount off or an extra percentage off based on how many items they purchase from you. Then you have the buy one, get one, and you can set this up for, you know, buy five, get one free, buy two, get one free, whatever you guys want. You can also set it to say buy one, get one at a certain percentage off if you don't want to do buy one, get one free. And it doesn't have to be buy one, get one. Like I said, you can choose any amount you want here. So this is a good one to set up if you just want to kind of get a push on either certain items in your store or the whole store wide. And there's so many options here. Spend this much, get this much off. Um, spend this much, get this percentage off. You can pick the BOGOs down here. You could pick quantity. There's a lot of options. And then once you pick what you want, you would go down here on the right bottom, select items. This is where you're going to pick the items that you want in your cell. You can create rules, which are cool. You can um, only include certain categories or you can select your items manually. That is pretty self-explanatory. When you click select your items, you can see here I have $10 off 50. Um, you would go in here and you can li literally click each item you want in this sale, or you can click the top up here. You can search, you can look in a certain category. So if you're manually picking them, um, it's really easy. You can go up here and you can search by your store categories, all your inventory, or eBay categories here. You can filter it out by price, or you can just search by title. Let's say you had come into, for whatever reason, uh, 100 South Park Christmas ornaments, and you just wanted to put them on sale. Then you can search South Park Christmas ornaments. And then you can click this box to select all, or go down and select yourself. Then you're gonna do confirm selections. And what that's gonna look like, it's gonna bring you to another page where you're confirming that whatever you selected was what you selected. So you save and review. And this is where you pick your dates. You can give your sale a name. No one sees it but you, so your buyers aren't going to see the sale. You can name it whatever you want. South Park needs to go, whatever you want to name it. it. Tells you what your offer is. It tells you your items you selected or how many. And then you pick your date. If you wanted to run it out 45 days at the max like I do, I usually just add 15 to the start date and then a month from then. So we're looking at March 15th. If you want to run it for two or three days, you just select today, start, say you want it to start right now, and you want it to end in two days, which would be Friday, and then you can pick the time it ends. And then you can do a description. I usually just put like store-wide clearance. Now this is something your buyers will see. They will not see what you name your store up here. They will see this note. So put something cool to catch their eye. Store-wide clearance, everything must go. 25% off store-wide, half off all, all South Park ornaments. Whatever you wanna put there, that's what they see. Then you click launch, boom, that sale will now be over here in your list. It will either say that it is active or scheduled depending on the dates that you chose because you can set them up 
for the future as well. You don't have to start them today or start now. You can literally set them up weeks out, months out. Um, like I said, I go in every Friday morning and set up all of our sales for the whole week. And you can see that here. I have scheduled, I have active, I have ended. So um, yeah, once you hit launch, it shows up down here and you can kind of double check it and make sure that this sale right here is what you wanted to set up. And then you can check your dates, start start date and then start time and then end date and end time. And if you made any mistakes, you just go right here and delete it, boom, you're done. If you ever wanna repeat a sale with different dates, you can go over here to this little blue arrow, click it and copy. If you click copy, you're gonna go through the steps I just showed you, except everything is already gonna be selected for you and set up the very same exact way this sale is set up. And that is how I do mine. It's so simple, you just click copy. All I do is go through um, the pages I just showed you and then I change the dates and the times. And I just keep copying my sales over and over again and all I change is the dates and the times. I will already have the um, percentage off I want when I copy, I already have all my inventory selected. It's really easy, guys. So let's take a look at create rules because we only looked at select your items. So if you are doing the sale and you want to create rules rather than select items individually, it's real easy. Say like you only wanted, um, Let's go to store categories because that, most people have their store set up on categories. So these are our store categories. Let's say I only wanted the sale to include um, toys, but I only wanted my plushies, right? So I would just open up toys and I would click on my plushies. So now whatever sale I set up, that's the rule I created. All of the plushies and dolls will be on sale and nothing else will. So you can select by eBay category or by store categories, or again, you can choose all inventory. This is how you make the rules. So this is typically what I use because I'll just check all inventory so my whole sale goes 20, my whole store will go 20% off or 25% off. So I usually just do create rules and select all inventory, but as I showed you guys, you can also set it up one by one and select your items. So now let's look at a shipping discount. Now I don't really mess with the shipping discount so much because the majority of what Keith and I ship out are first class items with free shipping and any items that we're charging shipping on it's because they weigh more than a pound and we don't want to have to eat any shipping should someone in California or Hawaii buy a heavier item from us. So I never really do the shipping offers, but if you're someone that charges shipping on everything and wants to run a quick flash sale offering your buyers a discount on their shipping, this is what you would do. You would select it from here, like I showed you, and then it will pull up this page. This is what you'll be looking at. And it's just like the sales. You can really uh, select minimum order, say they have to spend 50 or more, or they have to buy at least three items, or no minimum. And then you select um, the delivery day range or you don't have to have one. Here's where you select the minimum purchase amount or select minimum purchase quantity, you see that? And then you can choose which of the shipping types that you're offering. You can offer it free or flat and then you would pick the price that you're giving them. And then you would choose the qualifying items for your order. So that's the same way that you go through and select the items that I've already shown you. Um, it's pretty simple to go through. I have actually never set this up, but if you just go down the page, it actually has instructions and walks you right through it. And this is just a cool way to set up shipping discounts if you're someone that does charge shipping regularly and want to offer that. You can also do volume pricing sale right here. And when you click on that, you're gonna be looking at this kind of a sale to set up. Volume price, set tier pricing. So you wanna give it a name, name it yourself. Don't let them name it for you. I like to name them myself so I know what's going on. And then you can say buy one item, no discount, two or more, you save 13%. Three or more, maybe they save 25. And four or more, and you can just go through and set it up. And then add inventory will be the same as I've showed you before. And then you select your dates and when it starts and then you launch it. 
pretty easy. They have a codeless coupon that you can set up. Targeted offers or digital coupons allow you to provide an order discount to select buyers only. Your offer will not be visible to any general buyers on the site. Only the buyers who click through a special link for this offer or enter the special URL in their browser will see. So you're not actually giving them a coupon code. You guys are all familiar with coupon codes. You get a code, you copy paste it into the line when you're checking out from buying in the store and it gives you a discount. You're not actually giving out a coupon code, you're giving out a URL. People will click that and they will be able to go to your store and get the discount that you've set up for them. So this is a way to maybe, if you run a Facebook group or you have a blog, um, you have an email list, you have certain friends and family, whatever the situation be, you can give this special website out to whoever you want and give only those people the discount. It does not show up in your store to the public. So you can hand this website out to whoever you want, the URL, to whoever you want to have the sale. And you just set it up just like you did the other sales. You pick a minimum order or a minimum quantity and you set up whatever kind of discount you want to give the people. And you can restrict the inventory by rules or select manually. Um, you do a description here and then you give it a title, start and end. Then when you click submit, you'll get that special URL to give out to the people that you want to share the sale with. And then last but not least, you have sale event and markdown. This is my favorite and this is what I use most of the time. You can take a certain percent off each item in your store or a certain dollar amount off each item. This is the one I use every week to set up our 20% and 25% off sales. And I usually copy it, but you can, you know, the first time you're gonna have to set it up like this and then you can copy it moving forward. So let's say you want to do 25% off, then you click select items down here. And just like I've already shown you, you either select your items individually, you can create rules. Once you go through that and you hit submit, you're gonna to go to the page where they have where you select your date and your time to start and end the sale. The same exact thing I've already walked you through. It will look just like that. So those are your sales. You can do an order discount, you can do a shipping discount, volume pricing, a codeless coupon, or a sale event and a markdown. Quite honestly, I use sale event and markdown every week. And then the order discount is the one that I use for our ties, buy two, get one free, spend 25 or 20% and get an extra $25 off. I use that, but I actually just go down here and copy. So the first time you set up any sales, you'll go through the create a promotion like I just showed you and set up whichever kind you want. And then moving forward in the future, you can absolutely go over here and just copy and just go through each step and make sure that everything is right and change your time and date for start and end at the end before you launch it. If you schedule it out in the future, it will sit in this, um, it will sit in this section and say scheduled. If it's current, it'll sit in this section and say active. And if it's already ended, it's here as ended, and you can always just delete them just like that to keep your, your area nice and clean. You can just delete the ended ones, and you'll just see you're active and you're scheduled. And you can see I have three drafts here because I showed you guys how to set up sales. Um, they save them to the draft, which is a really, um, it's a good system to have because if you're in the middle of setting up a sale and you mess up or you go outside of the link then you can always come back to this page, which is under marketing promotions. You could come back to this page at any time and go down here and you'll see the drafts. Like you just saw mine, I've already deleted them, but the three drafts were there and you can absolutely go in and finish doing what you were doing before, or you can delete them if you messed up and you don't want them there. But it will save your sales as drafts if you don't go all the way through and set them up. And I kind of like that because you know, sometimes we all make mistakes and we don't want all our work deleted. So if you guys have any more questions or you need any help um, on any of this, just let me know down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys. Do me a favor, smash the like button before you leave. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Flippin' Hippos. Until next time, you guys have a good night.